Hello, I'm James Smith for In This Corner TV at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, still at the MGM Grand where this place is empty and out there breaking things down and that's exactly what Canelo Alvarez did tonight to host Cito Lopez. A tremendous dominant performance, a fifth round stoppage by Canelo. He retains his WBC Super Welterweight Championship. After the fight, I caught up with Canelo. Canelo, grade your performance tonight. I said going into this fight that you keep improving every time out. Grade your performance. Así es, gracias. Eh, eh, qué bueno que, que les gustó. Eh, para eso me preparé, para poder eh, que la gente disfrutara. Y pues me siento muy contento. Hay que seguir trabajando duro. Thank you very much. You know, I'm, I'm very, I'm very excited, very, very motivated for this this victory, and I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy. You know, uh, I came here, I fought my heart out, but that wasn't enough. Came out short. You, you're never prepared to lose, and and that's the worst part. I hate losing, so uh, you know, I'm a little disappointed. But the better man did win tonight. The, I gotta congratulate Canelo. We knew he was a tough fighter, and he came in executed. He he did what he had to do. Um, very, very strong fighter. Pretty much, uh, he, he did what we knew he could do. Uh, you know, um, I think uh, we felt going into the fight uh, that we could do a little more against him, but uh, we came up short, and I uh, gotta congratulate the champion. You, you added a new wrinkle to this with that uh, right uppercut, and then followed by the left hook to the, uh, to the body and also the solar plexus. Is that a new wrinkle, that uh, combination? Right uppercut, left hook. Así es, lo estuvimos trabajando, lo estuvimos trabajando en el gimnasio. Yo creo que eh, <coughs> lo que trabajas en el gimnasio y lo haces en una pelea, pues quiere decir que vamos aprendiendo, ¿no? La experiencia también me va dando todo ese tipo de cosas, así que, pues, eh, hay que seguir trabajando para seguir aprendiendo y poder estar muchos años aquí. We were working those items, you know, the uppercut, the left hook, and everything. We were working at the gym, and we, I'm going to try to to do it better because Canelo's going to be forever, not for one year, for many, many years. I didn't want the fight stopped. Uh, you know, I wanted to continue continue in there. Um, felt like I could have, uh, you know, done a little more, but uh, Canelo did uh, did his job. Did 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 what he do uh, what he does. Um, he's a he's a really smart fighter and. Uh, his weight did pay, uh, play a big difference in the, in, in the fight. What's next for Canelo Alvarez? No sé, aún no sé, hay que sentarme con mi equipo de trabajo y ver qué es lo que viene. I don't know, I don't know yet. I'm gonna sit down with my, with my I'm gonna take a red, big rest and talk with my, my, my promoter. This night belonged to the redhead, Canelo Alvarez. Tons of stuff out there. I think this man is right on the borderline of getting into my pound for pound list. In fact, my buddy Floyd Mayweather Jr. may want to avoid this uh, young man. I think at this point, Canelo's not quite ready, but I tell you what, he would give him one hell of a fight. He would give anybody one hell of a fight. Congratulations on a tremendous performance. Obviously, you have a lot of uh, Hispanic fans, Mexican fans, but now you have a hell of a lot more fans here in the U.S. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you. For those who think that boxing is not alive and well, this place sold out. And just a couple of miles down the street, the Thomas and Mack Center set a record. As the middleweight championship was on the line, Sergio Martinez, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. It was uh, going to school for Chavez Jr. Martinez took him to school, dominating the fight winning a unanimous 12 round decision. Now he took a little recess in round number 12 as he was dropped by Chavez Jr. But he showed why he's one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. He got up and wins the fight easily. After the fight, post fight reaction. Trabajé los 11 rounds como tenía que trabajar. No se cayó. Y en el último round me conectó con un golpe. Y me cayó, pero me levanté y sigue peleando. Well, for 11 rounds, for 11 rounds, I worked very hard, and I won every round of the 11. And the last round, it hit me right. It hurt me, but I continue fighting like a warrior, like I am, like a warrior. Sí, la verdad que creí que que lo podía acabar el último round. No pude, pero en la revancha, en el siguen otros dos rounds. Ah, yeah. I thought that I was gonna finish him in the last round, uh, but I couldn't. He's got a heart, and, I, and in the rematch, I promise you, I will knock him out. He's going to fight the biggest possible fights he can fight, period. 
period. So they know how to reach me. If Mayweather wants to fight, of course I'd have to talk to him. But there's a rematch of this fight sitting there that's also an enormous fight. So like, you know what? People are walking into the fight saying, well, Sergio's going to walk out of this fight. He's not going to have that many alternatives. Guess what? He just took part in an event that sold 19,186 tickets where there were Argentinian fans. Thank you, Argentina. There were Argentinian fans all over that room. And the pay-per-view, the pay-per-view, the projections I'm hearing from my friends at HBO, double, double the projections that they had when we first put this fight together. So now you have Sergio Maravilla Martinez, superstar. And, that, and then that, that lends itself to a lot of opportunities. So he's gonna go on vacation. My phone lines are always open. Hey, what, did, what the corner was telling you when you were getting beat physically, psychologically, and box, box, boxistically in the fight? Sí, la verdad, pues la esquina me decía que necesitaba tirar golpes, estaba dejando ir los rounds, pero me sentía amarrado, no podía, la verdad. No sé qué, qué pasa, ¿no? A veces pasa ese tipo de cosas. Uh, yeah, the corner was telling me the correct things. Uh, they were telling me to, to throw more punches, but I feel very tight. I feel very tight, and uh, honestly, uh, I don't know what happened. You know, Chavez was a warrior, man. What he did the last round was great stuff. But I don't know if anyone noticed, but when he went down from a vicious knockout, he got up throwing punches. He didn't get up holding off for dear life, running around. He got up throwing punches. That last round was an epic last round. That was as great a last round as you're going to see where a guy's in trouble you'll ever see in boxing. Because what he did was he got up and he went to war again. And that's why the rematch of this fight will be so enormous. No, me ganó bien por el boxeo y se movió bien. Los primeros rounds los dejé ir, yo creo que esa fue la clave. No, the weight's got nothing to do. He boxed, he boxed good and he beat me correctly. Con respecto a que el boxeo ganó credibilidad, le puedo asegurar que, que ahora este nuevo campeón que tiene el peso medio va a pelear con todos los que tiene que pelear. No voy a esquivar a nadie. No voy a esperar a que me den un regalo, una limosna ni nada. Yo quiero pelear con todos los mejores y quiero que los mejores tengan su oportunidad con el título con el título mediano. Muchas gracias. Eh, this is the, the final question. Eh, the response was that it's very uh, credible, the fight, credible for the sport, and the difference between this, this new champion is that he will fight and he will defend this title against anyone that he be uh, in front of them. He will not choose and pick anyone. He will fight everyone. So despite being outweighed by probably 20 pounds, Martinez proved why he is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, clearly the best middleweight in the world with this performance, this victory over Chavez Jr. A lot out there for Sergio Martinez. He can go up and wait a little bit. There's all kinds of things out there for him at a buck 68, uh, more fights at 160. But right now, he's clearly the best middleweight in the world. Reporting for In This Corner TV from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, I'm James Smith.